So I'm Tom Hunter and um, I've founded a business selling training shoes out the back of a van, um, built it up, sold it for a great deal of money. That's where my education started. I decided we still wanted to make money, but actually we wanted to give it all away. And that's what we've been in the process of doing. So we're still making money, but everything we make goes into the, our foundation. I don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard. I, I started working in my dad's shop, it was a grocer's shop in a very small village and I guess that's, I learned at my dad's apron to buy and sell and then um, when I couldn't get a job I looked to see what he was selling and he was selling training shoes and um, I basically made up a letterhead and wrote to companies saying that I had all these training shoes and could I put it in their stores which was a lie. And one of them remarkably said, yes, come on, Tom, let's do it. And that's when the fun started. And I had to go to my dad and said, look, great news is they've said yes, bad news, I have no idea what I'm doing and I have no money. So he lent me 5,000 pounds and the bank remarkably lent me 5,000 pounds and we started selling and training shoes. I think the really successful entrepreneurs who I meet and I'm now an anorak to see why people's lives go in different directions, but the really successful people are the ones who just solve problems every day. Because every day you get a new set of problems and some people aren't, aren't set up for it. Some people aren't hardwired for it. Um, because unless you are the sort of person who gets out of bed and says, okay, today's issues are, let's go and crack them. You know, if every time an issue comes to you, you go, oh no, and the head goes down, Go and do something else, because this will drive you crazy. And you've got to be sure to deal with the roller coaster ride that an entrepreneur is going to face. I mean, I, I think the first thing to anybody who's thinking about it is find something that you're really passionate about. I think too many people try and find a, a job and are just become, you know, wage slaves. And it's a terrible waste for everyone involved. And um, I think the biggest thing you can do is find something you're passionate about and go and try and do it, you know, because you're going to spend a lot of your life working, so you might as well work on something you really care about. So find the passion, follow your heart. And I know people will say, oh, well, I can't do it because of this, that, and the next thing. Yeah, solve those problems. We, we have a, a money-making side and a money um, investing for the common good side so everything we make goes into the foundation so it's a nice it's it's the same side of the same coin really making the money and then investing it and um, what we're trying to do with the foundation is we are we are looking to try and help more people start businesses um, helping Scotland become a more entrepreneurial society we've become quite a dependent society and that starts right from primary school you know, um, when kids are, are young and the younger the better, the early years interventions are the best because the older we get, the less we are open to um, new and change and new learnings. Therefore, the younger the better. So we've looked at all things right from how we educate our kids, where we educate our kids, who educates our kids, and, um, and then supporting that through the whole journey. So that's one of the things we do domestically. Um, in Africa, we have a foundation with President Clinton where we're trying to help people help themselves. It's as simple as that, sustainable economic development. So what we find in Africa is people don't want a handout. All they need is a hand up. And that's something which we are trying to provide.